Mm. Math is important, not just because of the numbers, but it's it's a language, right? And the better you are at speaking that language, the better you are at um, quantitative skills and problem solving. I think it's kind of a bummer that so many people don't like it because it's really beautiful. Um, you can ask any mathematician. Teaching is a, is a challenge, but I think it's a gratifying challenge. And I think that when you're working one-on-one -on -one with a student, there's just so much call and response. You know, it's, it's, not, it's not like being in a classroom where you know you can lose kids. If you're sitting there and you're talking with the student, you know when they're lost, you know when they're following you, and it also gives you the opportunity to give a lot of positive feedback. You know, students respond really well to, good job, you know, way to go. It seems really small, it seems trivial, but um, it, it really helps. I think it gives kids confidence, which is really, really important. I think that Brad thinks about, thinks about teaching and learning in a more of a 360 kind of way, um, where it's not just about the subject matter, it's about creating a network of people around the students so that they have the support that they need. It's not just about you know the math, it's also learning the organizational skills to keep your, your homework straight and to, to remember your tests and your exams. And it makes the kids accountable to other people as well. Right, so sometimes parents are overwhelmed, they have a lot of other things going on, but if you have kind of a group of people around you that you're responsible for, if you know your tutor is gonna be there every day or every Wednesday at 5 p.m., it makes you makes the students feel like they need to be accountable to someone else and responsible and ready to learn. And I think it's a really um, rounded way of looking at, at learning.